Uh, welcome to Vanderbilly.com. A couple of folks on the forum have requested more Rory Gallagher lessons, and uh, I said I'd put a couple in the vault. This lesson is on the basics of Cradle Rock, uh, which is on his uh, Tattoo album, but it's also on Irish Tour, and there's a bunch of live versions of it. And uh, you can watch performances of Rory playing this, and it's it's a bit different every time. So I've taken a couple of things from the live performances and mixed and matched a little bit here. Um... All of the soloing in the song is slide work, and I'm not going to cover that in this lesson, but everything else basically should be here. I'm going to play through all of the basic parts of the song. You know, some of them, the, the verses and whatnot, will be a little abbreviated, uh, and then I'll break it down. So this song is in E. It's played in standard tuning. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, the main riff of this song is played in a variety of ways by Rory, but there's really a core way of playing it, or there's a, there are core pieces to it that he always plays the same way. Uh, the first part of it goes like this. You hammer on to the open A string, from the open A string on to the uh, second fret, and pull off. Then you hammer immediately onto the E string third fret. So it's... Then you play the open A string the E string 3rd fret, and then the D string 2nd fret. Um, and then uh, that's the first part of the riff, the second core part, same thing except you don't end on the D. Uh, the D string 2nd fret, you end on the E string open. So. so those are the two core parts of the riff. When Rory plays uh, the first part, uh, he usually plays. So that's just uh, open E string three times, E string third fret twice, and E string fifth fret once. Um, and then for the second part of the riff, the one that ends on the open E. Um, he usually does a, a bend and what, um, or, or some kind of a um, series of bends. Uh, in the studio, all he does is um, he, he just uh, plays the open G string, bends the G string second fret up a whole step, and then pulls off, and then hits the D string second fret. Um, 
But live, he almost always does it differently from that. What he usually does, uh, and what I've been using in the playthrough, is you bend um, the G string second fret uh, a whole step, and you hold it. And then while you're holding that, uh, you play the B string third fret. So, I and then you let the G bend down. Um, you play the G string open and end with the D string second fret. So slowly that's um, then uh, there there's um, the, the second version that he uses, which employs double stops, and those double stops are just taking the place of a G uh, and an A chord. Uh, so all you do is you um, you play a riff, and then um, on the um, D and G strings, you you, hand, you palm mute, you go up, down, up, and then you let it ring on downstroke. And you fret the second fret of those two strings. Um, and uh, those are uh, primarily what he employs uh, in this song. Uh, before Rory starts singing, he plays uh, some variation of the E7 chord. Uh, you know, uh, usually you're going to strike the open E string. You're going to play an E7, you know, basic E7 with the first finger on the G string, first fret, and the second finger on the A string, second fret. Uh, and, um, and then you build by putting your pinky on the B string. Uh, third fret, and finally you bar with your pinky across both the uh, B and the E string. So that gives you a little bit of a, a, a buildup of tension before the verse. Um, Roy likes to mix up his chord voicing, so sometimes he'll take this, uh, you know, the C7 form. If you you make a C7 and slide it up to the fifth fret, you have an E7. So you can play. Uh, and then he'll also use that so-called Hendrix chord where you take your first finger uh, on the uh, D string of the sixth, uh, sixth fret, uh, your second finger on the A string seventh fret, and your ring finger on the G string seventh fret. And then you put your pinky on the B string eighth fret and you get that nice... <laughs> But for the verse itself, Rory just goes back to the first version of the E7, and he just adds a G and an A chord to it, like this. Um, a little faster. And he plays that the whole time he's singing, which usually is about seven times, and on the eighth time, he'll just hit the E7 chord, and then throw in a, a bend, usually something like the uh, G string second fret, you know, and then back to the riff. Okay, the bridge is just a series of bar chords uh, struck once uh, each. So there's a C at the third fret, a G at the third fret, a B flat at the first fret, an F at the first fret. And he plays that three times, and then uh, after the third time, he just hits the bar G and lets it ring. And then he's back to the uh, riff. Um, there is no real uh, outro to this song. I mentioned that Rory plays it a lot of different ways. In the studio version, it just ends with him playing uh, the, uh, a harmonica, actually, over uh, the verse chord. And, and he ends with an E7. Uh, 
but on a few of the live recordings, he, he actually reverses this, and he'll play A, G, E, like... <laughs> I like to play that one because you get to do the uh, upstroke on the open E and get that. So those are a few things uh, that you can have some fun with. Uh, if someone here uh, doesn't take up the slide challenge, I might have to do it myself and uh, then everybody's going to be sorry. So uh, thanks for watching and have fun with it.